You want to take them out from cover? Perfect Dark is a franchise that has been considered one of the pioneers in console first-person shooters, with Zen 64 game being one of the premier titles on the system. But the market just isn't what it used to be. What used to be dominated by platformers is now overloaded with first-person shooters like Halo, Call of Duty, and Killzone. So just having a console first-person shooter isn't enough anymore. Developer Rare had the task of making a Perfect Dark game to launch with the Xbox 360, and with the relatively low number of games that launch with the system, this was a very good move. It's Perfect Dark Zero. Made it past the security, Joe. Now for the job. Perfect Dark Zero follows Joanna Dark, the protagonist from the other games in the series. This younger Joanna is initially going through training programs before a conflict erupts that forces her to get thrown into the action, initially doing recon work to gather more information. The game uses a great cyberpunk tone to give great atmosphere to the game, and it really works to the game's advantage. In a sea of first-person shooters, having a unique setting or style can help separate your game from the pack. Narrative, however, does feel a little bit choppy. The cutscenes really don't help you understand why exactly you're doing what you're doing besides the fact that you're supposed to, and that just isn't enough anymore. Gameplay in Perfect Dark Zero is a mix of first-person shooter and some stealth segments. Now, like I said before, today's FPS games really need to do something special to distinguish themselves, and this stealth aspect certainly does so with Perfect Dark Zero, with Joanna sneaking by enemies to confirm a hostile, for example. The problem, however, is that it isn't necessarily all that well done. I'm not very good at this game, as you can probably tell from the fact that I'm getting killed so early on, but many times I snuck by enemies that should have clearly seen me, while other times there's no way I could have been spotted and I was. On the reverse, the first-person shooting is all done very well, with great hit detection and excellent weapons. I know that the game had to stand out from the pack, but with shooting done this perfectly, they should have put more emphasis on it. You see, Perfect Dark Zero's problem is that it tries to do a ton of stuff, but only does some of it well. The shooting and gadgets are all a lot of fun, but the stealth just isn't quite up to par. It isn't terrible, but the drop in fun between the segments is noticeable, especially when you're stuck doing it for a long period of time. Don't get me wrong, I like stealth and shooters, but it has to be done well or it will start to feel like a chore. Perfect Dark Zero was a launch title for the 360, and you can tell from its visuals, but not as much as you might expect. The game's style really helps to avoid it looking as dated as, say, an earlier Call of Duty game. Music is also excellent with a nice mix of tunes to not only fit the setting, but the pace of the action. The one thing that isn't excusable, though, is the voice acting. It's pretty terrible. Right. Whatever you're getting to rescue him, I'll double it for you to take a walk instead. Shut up, before I drop you like a bad conversation. Uh, I thought they were doing it on purpose at first, but I don't think they were. There's no such thing as good and bad anymore. Just business. Perfect Dark Zero is a game that is so close to getting it right that it makes it so frustrating to look at its faults. If the game emphasized how good its shooting is, or even just improved the stealth gameplay, it would do wonders for it. Maybe next time.